When I first saw the announcement about the Watchtower from WizKids a couple of months ago, I was surprised and confused. If you've been with me for a couple of years, you may remember my review of The Tower a couple of years ago. I will link it up there in the eye. The new Watchtower here looked pretty dang similar. Now, if you go back and look at the comment section of that original video, the main criticism of that tower was that it included cardboard floors instead of warlock tiles. And that's been corrected here with the Watchtower. And there are a few other changes here as well. But what if you have the original tower and you just want some of the new stuff? Or what if you just want the floors to make that original tower the way you wanted it to be? And can you use both towers together to make one massive tower or mix and match the pieces? Well, I am here to answer all of your questions and, of course, many thanks to WizKids for sending it our way to review. Before we jump in, if you're looking for some last minute gifts, we're running our own first big sale at HeroPlush.com. We have our Cobalt plushies and accessory packs and Goblin coins and shirts and stickers and a lot more. Get 20% off everything with the code GOBOGOBLIN. Now, let's take our stations in the Watchtower. Today's video is brought to you by Hitpoint Press. The deck of many animated 5e reference cards can bring even more magic to your games, and they make fantastic gifts. Get animated spell cards, condition cards, or townsfolk NPCs. You can even get in-game items like the deck of illusions and the deck of many things. Get big discounts and free alchemy VTT assets during their holiday sale going on now. Use the link in the corner or down below. Out of the box, you get all of the pieces to construct your tower, which is an easy process of slotting the walls together. To see it being assembled, check out our video of the previous tower, as the process is largely the same. Though this set includes those warlock tile floors with the new blue easy clips. The floors are double-sided, so you can have the floors either be made of wood or stone. And you can include the center circular section at the center of the floor, or you can just leave it open. And yes, you can certainly replace the cardboard floors in your old tower with these new ones. The watch tower here comes with four sets of floors. If you want to use these floors with your existing curved set of warlock tiles, be aware that the walls will work against that central circle, but not the outer circle as you can see here. And here you can see it all put together. The windows and the doors are removable, which you can use to simulate damage to the tower should you wish to simulate some siege battles with some of the WizKids siege engines like the Catapult, which we've been meaning to cover. Stay tuned for more. The door is a portcullis that is functional and it will stay in the open or closed position. So let's compare the old tower, which is on the right here, to the new one on the left. Please ignore the fact that I failed to push the top of the level of the old tower flush with the base. I didn't notice that until now. While they do look very similar and have roughly the same dimensions, the details are entirely different. They have different roofs and windows and buttresses and doors. Of course, the tower floors do differ with the older ones having those cardboard floors and the new ones using warlock tiles, though the staircases are the same. The towers are also the same number of levels, so this begs a number of questions. First, are the towers compatible? Yes, they are. Let's just combine the towers into one massive tower. They all stack together just fine, though nothing is locking them into place, so don't go shaking your table too much. So if you have both towers, you can mix and match various pieces to create unique towers of various sizes, depending on your needs. Now, if you have the old tower and just want the new pieces, they actually have a way to do that. First, you can buy a set of floors for 30 bucks from the WizKids online store. So if you want to replace all the floors in your original tower, it'll cost you about 120 bucks. Pretty expensive for just floors, but I'm glad they have the option available. But if you are wanting the other new parts, they actually have that set available too. It's called the Tower Parts Set. It includes the new top section of the tower, the new portcullis, and the new buttresses. Here you can see the original taller tower buttresses on the right and the new squatter ones on the left. I think the only real reason to pick this set up is if you want to vary up the build on your old tower. Here you can see the old tower in its original glory. And if we replace the various parts with the new ones in the little box set here, it'll look like this. If you're a collector who wants all the unique pieces, then this is great for you. It won't really bring any value to your new watchtower by itself, but it does give you variability with the old tower. The tower part set is available on WizKids online shop for 50 bucks. Finally, they have a level expansion if you'd like to add an additional floor to either tower. It includes the level with the new removable windows, plus all the parts you need for the double-sided warlock floor and the staircase. All of that is 60 bucks. And you can just add on as many of these as you'd like to the tower, though keep in mind that they don't lock into place, so it will get more precarious the more levels you add. 
And here we have our new watch tower with the extra level added in. Ultimately, I'm still a little bit confused about the existence of this set. On its own, it is a great set with enough internal space to run several interesting encounters. Just off the top of my head, I can think of a hill giant encounter in the Broken Tower in Storm King's Thunder, and a certain windmill encounter in Curse of Strahd that would be perfect for this set. If you let your players build a keep, this can be a good set for that as well, or for your mage tower needs. This tower is certainly more generic. The main difference aside from the Warlock tile floors is the roof. The old tower roof with the statues and the skylight was certainly more interesting and eye-catching, but it made the space on the top of the tower not particularly well suited to battles with minis. The new tower has a much more standard roof, but it does expand your space for some interesting encounters. You can certainly pick up a few gargoyle minis to make things a little bit more interesting if you'd like. And the fact that both sets contain different pieces while maintaining compatibility means that it's not an absurd proposition to pick up both towers if it's within your budget. And kudos to the team for making the new unique parts and the floors available separately for those who just want to upgrade their old tower. That's a level of customer friendliness that we don't always get. And if you own either tower, $60 for an extra level is a pretty enticing deal. I'm happy to see that Warlock tiles are still alive, and so are these larger set pieces. That Bridge Mini is still one of the coolest sets I own, and I'd love to see more big terrain sets like this. So ultimately, I think this is best seen as a new version of that older tower for about the same price. The old tower is still available in limited quantities. A lot of stores are sold out of it, but it is available on the WizKids store for about 300 bucks. I'm not sure if they're gonna keep producing more of the old tower once the current stock is exhausted. The new tower is currently available for between 260 and 290 bucks. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. And don't miss out on those last minute sales at Hit Point Press. Seriously, an imperfect version of the Humblewood hardcover book for 10 bucks is an incredible deal. Use our links in the corner or down below. And remember, you can get 20% off in our Hero Plus store with code GOBOGOBLIN until the end of the year. We have some fun stuffs coming up for you on the channel here over the next couple of weeks. I'm trying to slow down a little bit and enjoy the holiday but there's just so much fun stuff I want to share with you. We'll see if I can find that elusive work-life balance thing that I've heard so much about. Be sure you're subscribed here to see everything and come join us on social media at one of the sites over here. We're offering some exclusive reveals of upcoming WizKids minis all the time and those are the places to see them. But for now, please stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I will see you next time at the Gallant Goblin.